Hi, it's Mary with the Great Outdoors University. As I was taking a walk this morning, I noticed the nest up in the tree and heard the birds singing. And I thought about how is the mother able to sit on the egg without it breaking? So I decided to try a little experiment with a chicken egg that I had in my refrigerator. This is a raw egg and I just wanted to see how much pressure I could put on that egg without breaking it. Well, so I challenge you to lift up your egg with your fingers on either end like this and try to squeeze as hard as you can and try to break that egg. Are you able to break it? If not, perhaps try just lifting it in your full hand and applying pressure and squeezing as hard as you can to try to break that egg. Were you able to break it? You know, it's amazing, as fragile as eggs are, and we know they're fragile, uh, they're actually similar to one of the most, the strongest architectural elements that exists, the arch. So at the very end of the egg, the top and the bottom, those are the strongest points on that egg. And as long as you apply pressure on the egg equally, without any one point of, uh, of pressure, but equally around the egg, you will not break the egg. And that is why the mother is able to sit on the egg without it breaking. And you might also wonder, well, how does the baby chick get out of the egg if the eggs are that strong and you can't break it with your hand like that? Well, the reason a baby chick is able to hatch out of the egg is they use their beak and they put pressure on one point on that egg. By putting that pressure on one point and pecking at it with their beak, they're able to hatch out of the egg. Much like you're able to break that egg if you tap it on the edge of a bowl and, and it will break open, it'll crack, and you'll be able to use your egg to cook with. So have fun trying this experiment. And next time you take a walk, be sure to think about all the many wonders of our world.